weird jingle at the beginning. Wow, that was terrible. Sticking with it. Hello, everybody. I'm Rude Devil. Welcome back to the Battles of the Third Age mod. Today, we are checking out the thing that I've been so excited to check out. It's the goblins. Right at the beginning, I have to say this fast because the AI will attack in a second. At the beginning, you get to choose between Gundabadu and Goblin Town. We're going with Goblin Town because everyone said to go Gundabad, and I'm like, no, Goblin Town is the best. They're so cool. Okay, expect my summon to wane as I get tired, but the goblins are so cool. One, because they're not in a Dane yet, and they are so cool in 3.8. And in this game, they're equally cool. If you remember uh, Battles of the Third Age, small battalions, but you spam them out quickly, and this is the goblins we're talking about. Um, you guys were quick to mention... Actually, you know what? I'll, pff, I'm talking as if this, mo this video is only really like five minutes long. I've got plenty of time to say all this shit. Let's have a quick look at the powers, shall we? Drums in the deep. All goblin and orc units on the battlefield are immune to fear and also gain plus 25% damage and speed. Very nice. Cave bats. Infestation. Enemy who enters the area take poison damage over time and lose 20% armor and damage. Sorry about that. Spiderlings. Uh, mountain chieftains. So... Gundabad and Goblin Town gain their passive abilities. Uh, goblin mining, blah, blah, blah. Allies from Mount Graham. Someone's half trolls. Someone's a watcher and it has a picture of the watcher attacking Moria. Very nice. Mist of the Mountain. So uh, enemy units lose 90% vision. So that's pretty creative. Uh, you got... Oh, I'm not even going to say that one. No, no, don't look at it. Don't pause the video. Don't even look at those bottom two powers. Fuck. We'll go this way. We're going to go with drums in the deep. There's a couple of concerns. Oh, there is a concern I have with the powers. Um, but I'll I'll bring that up later. So, with the goblins, you should all know that they look fucking ugly. But oh my goodness, they're cool. So, to make a building... Uh, can we get cave beds, actually? That'd be really easy. To make a building, we need to set down these skull posts. And then that will actually allow us to build things in that area so that's i don't know if that's a bug because i would like to be be able to build in this area already but you actually can't you have to use these skull totems like i figured that i figured that seems kind of strange the plus side of that is that you can deploy these skull totems anywhere on the map so technically actually not technically it's fact technically i'm gonna say technically anyway um you can build buildings anywhere on the map because you can just put down these skull totems uh, you can wait for the Skull Totem to cool down, which takes, I don't know, like a minute, maybe a bit more. Or you can mate one for 700. I think we're gonna, you know what, we're gonna wait for the time being. Heroes, we can make Grinnar, because who knows that guy's name. Um, he's the one who says in The Hobbit, Dwarves, your malevolence. Uh, we have Gorkil, we have Durbuz. The fuck is that? You have Ogre Chieftain, you have Great Goblin for 5,000, and Drogoth for 8,000. We're gonna get Gorkil, um, for the reason that you should all know and love, because he has the greatest voice and the greatest quotes in this game. Uh, we're gonna build a Sentry Tower, because, um, I've been talking and I haven't been doing much, so that's just gonna give us a bit of a security. So, these are the basic Goblin Barracks. 30... They use up 10 command points, and they cost 30. And look at that picture. Have you seen a more deformed or oh, a goblin? Like, what? if you remember the Moria goblins from um, from the Fellowship of the Ring, they looked cool. They had, like, snake eyes, and they looked fucking cool. They looked, they looked feral and deadly as fuck. They looked like they enjoyed, like, eating uh, dwarf blood. Ooh, a troll burrow. Oh, we need to build another one of these. Um, oh, shit. Shit! Fuck, who's killed? Who is that? Is that Gondor? No, those are elven pikes, I think. They have the long brown hair. I'm gonna go with elves. Um, but yeah, th th those Moria goblins look so cool. And then the one in the Hobbit, like, how much inbreeding did they do? Look at them. These things are weird as fuck. Not that, not, not that that's bad. They're goblins. They're supposed to look weird as fuck. But holy shit, balls. Okay, let's go to a white lair. The uh, BFME 2 of old. Make your heroes and rush the white lair. I don't know if how many of you played um, um, BFME 2 on Xbox 360, but there was always like this unspoken rule that you weren't allowed to attack for about 20 minutes. So everyone would just farm their goblins, uh, their heroes off the uh, off the white lair, and you'd have like level seven Elrond before you even went into the battle. It was crazy. The attack on that's pretty good, plus we get resources. Resources at level 1. Oh my fucking god. Just BFME2 Yoda, if you haven't played this yet, you're gonna have a field day. Just send these to every corner of Middle-earth. Just send these to every corner of Middle-earth and have a field day? 
I don't know why I went really high pitch though. That's really weird. Uh, you can get the Etamore drums, which was in 3.8. And essentially gives your guys an attack boost, but it actually has quite a large radius in this, which is really useful. Alright, go, my foul creatures. Oh, man. It's so much fun playing goblins. Anyone who says they don't have fun playing goblins is a fucking liar. It's just so much fun to spam. There's a lot of things to show off in this. Um, we can get the Goblin Town Archers. Um, let's actually just check the... You know, we'll build a couple of them. Archers are really good in this game, and they're dead cheap, so I wonder if... I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure one battalion, uh, one battalion of cavalry could just destroy everything, like every uh, goblin that we can make. But I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna make the archers anyway and just see how we do. What are those? Are those wild men? I think, I, yeah. There's a furnace there. I must have put it on eyes and guard. All right, drums in the deep. You kind of knew it was gonna be that sound effect, and it's so beautiful. All right, so we have goblin archers here. And what else can we make here? We can make hobgoblins. Heavy infantry. They cost 250. That's the most expensive unit they could make. Freaking 250. That's hilarious. Oh, God. Um, let me see. Gorkill. He gets his scorpion. He gets his skull totem. He gets a poison skull at level 4. Great goblin throws a skull filled with poison. I know I should be surprised, but I'm not. Because it's the freaking goblins. Elves are continually sending pikes against our tunnels. We'll need to fix that. Let's put down a... Come on, you bastard. Let's put down another Skull Totem. Um, why can't we... What the hell? Alright, just go over there. Am I gonna have to upgrade you? Yeah, let's upgrade you with fire arrows, why not? So basically, we've infested these lands already. And... We'll just put an archer in there, why not? We're just gonna keep making Yonets, they're dead cheap. So, basically, what I would suggest you do with the goblins is just to keep spamming them out and just have waypoints to every corner of the of the map. And you know what? You'd probably make more back in the passive uh, resource gain that you get from them than what the actual unit costs. Plus, it's harassing the unit non-stop. The only drawback of such a strategy... They get stealth in the trees? Fuck that noise. The only drawback of such a strategy... Um... Is that you're probably giving them a lot of power points. Let's throw a skull. This is probably for heroes, but... He actually throws a skull at him! That's so cool! Oh, man. So, Gorkil actually gets a passive... That's gonna do copyright on me. Oh, shit! There's a tower! Kill the farm! Um... But, yeah, Gorkil has a passive ability where he, his powers recharge faster and he heals faster because he's a leader. So, yeah, there's that. What is this one? Untamed Allegiance. Holy shit, he gets Untamed Allegiance? Where's that cave troll there? To the cave troll lair! The alternate line for of, of AMA. To the cave troll lair! You mean to the king? No! Okay, um, we can make hobgoblins now. I'm gonna make them just so we can look at the, um, the textures. I have played as the goblins before. There are a few things I haven't, sh um, uh, showed off yet. And a couple things I haven't spoiled yet. Uh, cause I want you guys to keep watching and it's actually really cool. Wait, what are you doing attacking that? Gorkil, where did you go? Alright, Untamed Allegiance. Let's get the troll in there. They have a cave troll. Nope, we have a cave troll. Thank you very much. Remember in a day in 3.8, you could actually make Bill, Tom, and Burr, and it was just the greatest day of all time. Oh, man. Um, I know I should probably save, because we got double command points. We're playing as goblins. We got four players in this, but... Holy God! Will you stop doing that? Fuck it, hobgoblins, go in! So these things look more like the Moria Goblins from the Fellowship of the Ring with their armor. Slightly darker. They will get an attack boost from the drum, which as I said has a greater radius than in, than in a Dane, which is fun. What's the build time on this? Okay, like a, like a decent amount, alright. We have the middle thing. I've just realized we have the middle outpost. We have loads of money. We could actually make Great Goblin. Um, the troll sh... Uh, Troll Shaman, the Golden Shaman, there we go. Oh my goodness! Surely you can hit him there! God damn it. Uh, all kills level 4, I haven't even had to do anything. Let's just keep filling up the battlefield with these freaking units, it's so much fun. Builder, we can make a Troll Bar which lets us build Siege and also lets us build Cave Troll, so it's a lot of fun. 
I think ideally. Goblin porch. All buildings around the fortress get repaired over time. Increase plating. Goblin throne. That's right. When you make the great goblin... Oh, pardon me. Sorry, I had a lot of Pepsi before I recorded this. I'm having to stop and up. Holy God! Our army is gone because of, like, three gobl three Gondor archers hidden in the trees. They get stealth now. What sort of new devilry is this? Plus, Gorka was being hit. I didn't even notice. That was weird. So, um... But, yeah. You can make the great goblin, the really fat one that everyone knows and loves, or at least I do. And, um... You can, um... Let me just do that again. Uh, you can put him on top of your fortress and he just gives you, like, essentially, uh... He lets you harvest even more resources from things. Um, so it's more of an economic upgrade. So think of that what you will. Um... When you upgrade the fortress, you get the scaffolding like it is Goblin Town itself, which is actually really cool. Um, requires dr a troll drum to be built. Unite the goblins of Moria. Allows training of Moria goblin units and cave trolls. Let's click on that. We also get Goblin Swarm, increase the production of goblins as if you'd need it. Scavenging requires great goblin. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay. We're gonna- The elves have captured the middle thing. Well, fuck that nice. I like the hop goblins, but I feel like quantity is the way you should always go. Um, I think if we make a few more- If we make a few more, uh, barracks, then we can really, uh, have a couple set to hop goblins. And then another two set to just spamming out the regular units. Okay, we can make those grotesque looking things from the Hobbit. Those horrible looking ogres. Did they kill our builder? I think they killed our builder. Or am I crazy? I don't know, maybe not. Walking Galathrim on our doorstep. I've let you live, elves. You're supposed to be the passive ones here. Don't be like that. You're supposed to be the passive ones. Don't. Don't be that one. So here we go. This mod is actually made by one person I should uh, highlight. A lot of people pointed that out, and it is amazing how much work he's been able to do by himself. And particularly so if you look at the freaking um, textures on this guy. I mean, that's so cool. Grotesque, but that's the way he's supposed to look. So he just he swings a massive club. Um, so the point of this video, you probably got within the first 20 seconds. Yes, you can spam with uh, goblins, and yes, it is amazing. Um, it isn't... It isn't completely set in stone. Like, victory is not assured. Not by any means. Because as you saw, if, if you sort of neglect your forces, um, archers will just fucking wreak havoc on you. If you're going to use Elven Word, then I'm not going to keep you company. That's just the way it goes. I'm going to make some hog goblins there. Um, so we can upgrade this to make Cave Troll. And then we can make the Siege Troll. Um, in the in the first version of this I played, it was like the siege troll wouldn't actually fire his rocks, but I've since downloaded a patch that he made. Um, since downloaded a patch that he made that should, you know, let's make this guy. He's pretty fun. Um, since downloaded a patch that should have fixed it, so we'll see. We've got two ogres now, which are sort of like shock troopers because they can just run in and just do really good AOE damage. Gorkil, you need to fucking go back to base. He does get his Poison Stinger, um, in case you guys are worried about that. What's his other power? Blood Sacrifice. Okay, so you can sacrifice your other units to give him health, which is kind of funny. And then he still gets coal from that deep, which is one of my favorite powers. I mean, wh why wouldn't it be one of your favorite powers? Holy god, this guy's level 7 already? What the fuck? He didn't do anything! So yeah, this little inbred, little grotesque fucker. Um, level 6. Enemy units and heroes are stunned. Uh, goblins around him get plus damage. Oh, and then he gets, like, Horn of the Goblin Town, but it gives you the power of Blade Master. What is going on? Man, I love these heroes. Even, even the shit ones do a lot of damage. That's great. I feel like we did lose a lot of, uh... I think we did lose a builder because we've only got one and nothing's building, so yeah. Anyway, we're upgrading this. I feel like we should make another one of these. The fissure has been expanded. Holy shit. So we're probably going to be in this battle for a while because I want to show off everything and that requires getting lots of power points. We're going to make these because they're dead cheap. I like these hobgoblins. Look at them cut down that Galathrum. I actually like them a lot. They won my respect there by cutting down that Galathrum. Alright, let's just hit the freaking uh, melon tree. Hell yeah, he'll fight for us. Go, go strike fear into the heart of the enemy. Um, we're actually a little low on money now. 
Um, try, uh, troll burrow we made. We can make the regular goblin cave now. That was what that upgrade was at the fortress. And this uses the same model as the regular goblin cave. That you should all know and love. It's the faux hammer! <laughs> I love the Goblin King. I can't wait to make it. Oh, is that Haldir? Nope, it's just fucking Rumil. I think. It is Rumil! I got it right this time! I got it right! Uh... Hold on a minute. Okay, uh... One of the, the greatest power that... The greatest power that the Goblins can get, they can get a Balrog. And they can get Smaug the Terrible, but... And Smaug is apparently massive. I've never seen him. Plus he got a texture upgrade in the improved... Um, or in the latest patch. But it says here, only available in the Gundabad sub-faction. So, if I've been through all this and we don't even get to see Smaug, I'm gonna be annoyed. I didn't know he was only restricted to that. I had, did, I had no idea he was only restricted to that. That's really annoying. Um, if so, if that is the case... I might just save right before I can make the power, and then if I can't, I'll just reload and we'll get the Balrog instead. If that is the case, I'll quickly make another video on a Gundabadu. And, um, I'm gonna make another drum. And then we'll just summon Smaug, because I really want to see him, because he's been hyped up so much for me. And, yeah, I just, I just, I need to see him. Dwarves, your malevolence. You know what, we need a little more battlefield presence, so let's go. From this, we can make goblin warriors, goblin archers, goblin spearmen, the goblin drummers, which are amazing, and goblin poison, which gives them a poison upgrade. So these ones are 20 more, uh, 20 more resources, um, which is a little bit more expensive. I can't believe that other hero is level 10 already, that's amazing. Can we just get cold from the day? Fuck it, damage bonus! Ooh, ooh. Throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity! Um, what is this? Grinna summons three hordes of goblin mercenaries. Let's summon that. I want to see what goblin mercenaries look like. Alright, they look pretty much the same. Okay. Found him on the front porch. <laughs> uh, why do these goblins have so much character? How do these elves keep sneaking past my lines? That's... That is a, a cause of concern. I don't like that, how they're able to do that. How they're able to waltz past all my towers. Let's upgrade that again. So these are the basic Goblin Warriors. Oh shit. So basically, they are they look exactly the same as the other Goblins from Biff Me Too. But they just have slightly darker tint. I guess, uh, race equality or something like that. No, oh, Gorkel! Man, Gorkel's re like, his progression's really slowed down. It's probably down to me, or whatever. I'm having to do a lot of the things because we always... I, I tend to always forget to build shit, and with the goblins you can't do that, you must always keep up the spam. I like this ogre, it's a great target. It's a great target. He just fell over, but that's okay. We just killed some elves! Imagine how embarrassing that would be. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, an elven parent would just disown their son if, uh, if their son or daughter was killed by a goblin. Because this is, like, the, the most advanced race in Middle-earth. Killed by the most, like, just <laughs> the most pitiful form of life in existence. Alright, come together, hunters. We still have this thing. So we have Isengard in this game and Gondor. I haven't seen much of Gondor. I assume those two are just waging their own private war. This is coming back really quickly. Come on. It's better to attack with those basic goblins rather than those Moria goblins because you get... Uh, you get resources passively, don't you? Found him on the front porch. Am I the only one who loves that? Yes. God damn it! Anyway. We have 2400. Uh, income is slowing down a teensy weensy bit. Uh, let's just build tunnels where we can. Eh, we can build that. Okay. What the hell, Galathrim? Who said you could take that? I certainly didn't. Look how many battalions we've got hitting this furnace. God damn it. Summon some mercenaries. We have 13 points. One more, we'll get this. And um, that's actually something I wanted to bring up. In, um... I think in every faction I've played, or at least the dwarves, 
Um, I know Gondor has it, and now the the goblins. There's always a power that you can get that will unlock a pretty decent bonus. Actually, I think the elves get it too, which allow them to build... Uh, I think it's Galathrim, actually. And it's just somewhat annoying because, one, it costs a lot, but two, it's real. It's so good, you really can't afford to not go for it, if you know what I mean. It's so good, you have to get that extra upgrade that unlocks a lot of units. Um... Because I think with the goblins, you actually, if you go for, uh... If you go for... Goblin Town, you act you can still build Azog and Bolg with that ability. Um, and... I can't remember what Gondor's one does, but I know Gondor, it really does, it really is beneficial. I remember thinking it was really good. Um, and it just seems kind of annoying that, because it's, it's sort of predictable in which path your powers will go. Because it is so, it's so essential to victory to go for that. And especially in the Elves case, I mean, Galathrim are really good. How can you, how can you not afford to go for them? I wonder if we can build another tower on the front line. Who devil you and your towers? Yes, me and my towers! No, we can build it up to here. I think we're gonna build... I think we're gonna build a drum right here. Okay, so basically we need to, they're just gonna crash in and die. He's fighting them. What is... We'll just activate our horn of the goblins. Oh, there was actually a, a horn sound in there. That wasn't too bad. We're gonna go for that again, because who's not sick and tired of that Moria drum yet? Um. Shit, what's he fighting that he's... Look how fast he is! Holy god, he's a master of running away. Yes, please. Dwarves, your malevolence. <laughs> I love how these serve such a fat goblin, and the only reason he got so fat is just... Well, how everyone else gets fat, he just... He just eats. Alright, we're getting a lot of archers now. We're getting a lot of them. This is the Siege Troll. This is really cool. It's got the catapult on the back. You should remember these from the Battle of the Five Armies, uh... I was about to say game, the film. These are all my units around that tower. Ha 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 ha. Oh man, it's fun when you just... You can just lose so many units and still have control of the battlefield. Alright. I told you to make the drum. Okay, apparently we can only have a limited amount. Um... Ooh, actually. What am I doing? Where's that dude? Shaman, go this way. That's such a weird picture for the shaman, but whatever. Okay, if we deploy you, let's see if it works. Deploying. <gasps> yes, it's fired! It's firing! We have mobile infantry. That's not what mobile infantry is. We have something cool. Go well, after him, you go there. We have 14 points. So what it says here is that Gundabad and Goblin Town gain their bonuses. So, there we go. We're just going to keep making shit. I like having cheap inventory, don't you? Yeah, me too. Okay. Heroes go in. So essentially our siege unit is really expensive. Little clunky. But it can attack in no matter, like, whatever form it's in. Which is actually a pretty big advantage, if you think about it. Um, now that we've set down that other totem... Why don't we hide you in the tower? That'd be great. We should be able to build another tower. How can you summon wargs out of thin air? What the hell? These towers come back really quickly. We need to get him to run away. He's going to be killed by wargs. No, run away, run away, run away. What the hell? Galathrim versus orcs there? Look at them getting chopped down. I love that. They're my own units. I love it. Ooh, the ring. It's just sitting there. They've killed the Nazgul! Wrong faction. They've killed the Squirrel! Not even in the game. They've killed something else. And... Yeah. I'm pretty sure in this game, the ring passively kills your unit. Whatever- whoever's holding it... Whoever's holding it will slowly but surely decrease their health. Which is kind of funny. These goblin archers, with the help of this Tycho drum, for the sake of, for lack of a better word. Damn it, Sunflare! Oh, not Sunflare, Cloud Break. These uh, archers are actually, well, they were winning before the stun came out. Um, Why don't we make more of these ogres? Because they're funny, and they fill my soul. This thing's about to die. I say this thing, my hero is about to die. 
Warriors. Oh, Goblin Warriors. Uh, Dua Birds. I don't want to recruit things we don't really know. Level 7, what do you get? Blood Sacrifice. That's right. No, Blood Sacrifice. It'll work. It'll work. Okay, we use Blood Sacrifice. Uh, that's supposed to have just leached our unit's health and given given us the health bar instead. Apparently it didn't, so... I don't know why that didn't work, but that can always be fixed. That's not a big deal. These fucking things that uh, Gondor can summon are so strong. They give him about 200% armor. It's actually really useful. It's really cool and really useful. Okay. Why don't we just make the final building that we haven't made yet? It's just the treasure trove. So while you can't actually build, like you have to use those shamans to, to sort of um, tell you where to build, it's actually it's actually not that big a deal. We have two archers in there. Holy shit! It's actually not that big a deal because. Um, there aren't that many buildings to make. One and two, you can just spam out units really quickly, so that's okay. We're gonna finally, finally, finally do the thing you guys have all been shouting on me to do, because I'm psychic like that. Uh... And that's... Set a forward waypoint. Has this thing died yet? No, he'll die soon. Okay, that's okay. People are like, but Rude Devil, why don't you care if your things die? Because we can spawn these fucking Furby babies! It looks like someone just shaved a Furby and then gave it a club. They're really weird. Really weird. Although that is sort of the point. The, the evil in, in Middle-earth is supposed to be the antithesis of anything that looks remotely lovely or beautiful. So, you know, job, you know, mission accomplished there. <laughs> I want to hit Q because I can't be asked to look everyone on the battlefield for all my things. But if I hit Q, I'll have to select Gore Kill. Where's that waypoint gone? There. Where does this one go? There. That's a bit too far forward. This thing we're gonna redeploy. It looks a little awkward. Motherfucker, game crash. Mother... Okay, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna do this again. We're getting... We're getting something. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Um... Couple things. One... We're gonna expand these. Because I know that there's something... That we all want to hear, and I have yet to say it, but we're expanding them, and it will be glorious. Second of all, the, uh, the bonuses you get for the factions, Goblin Town gets, uh, the Great Goblin gets a pillage ability, and your heroes gain a damage and armor boost, and for Gundabad, Aegisog, and Bolg get that too. But I could have sworn, when I played Goblin Town, there was a way I got Bolg and Azog. Maybe we have to get Great Goblin and Coronatum as well, maybe, maybe that will be it. Anyway. Um, I found a really good early game push strategy with the goblins just while I was dicking around trying to get to the... We're down to nine frames. I heard lots of units was fun. And basically, if there's a map with a goblin cave, um, a cave troll layer on it, if you just make gore kill and then use his untamed allegiance to level one on it, you can push... You can just push around the map with that single cave troll and a couple of goblins just destroying all of their resource structures. Look at these guys. They are just struck by fear. Look at that. <laughs> we're just gonna run past them. We're gonna see, like with these all these ogres. We haven't got any cave trolls, but they're. I mean, cave trolls are really good. But we're just gonna try and push this. We have one cave troll. This is actually the one I got from Alea. We are just gonna push and see if we can take down the Isengard fortress. The key to doing this is to make sure our ogres don't die. Um, the at level ten, this little weasel of a fucking orc. I don't even know what you want to call him. He can stun. He is an AOE stun for all heroes for five seconds, and it's A-O-E. Are you fucking serious? So we've just stunned him, he was already dead by then, but holy god. All right, performance is a little bad, but that is to expect it when you play with the goblins. The range on the elven archers is greater than our towers. That's a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. There it is! We expanded the cave! That, I don't know why, everyone repeats that. Are you serious, fucking ballista? My ogres are gonna die now. I know they're ugly, but they didn't deserve this. Fucking go to the fortress, kid. Go, go, go. Just push, push, push. Holy good. I told them to push and they did. Sound the drums! Man, I really want Smaug. If he's locked behind Gundabad, I'm gonna be annoyed. No! Grinar has fallen! 
I will forget his name as soon as this match is over because why would I remember someone so pointless? Okay, ogres with their giant clubs, they might as well be attack trolls. We've got five of them. We've got six of them, I can't count. Come on, take down that fortress. Come on, come on, come on, let's hit you too aggressive. These these Moria orcs better be tanking all these uh, all these arrows for us. I, I kind of want to click away to quickly build rebuild my forces. Uh, uh, I, I swear that's something Mac Pollock does. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck! Back to the no! What are you doing? Hit the thing! You why did two of them break away? Hit the thing! Hit the thing! If Isengard gets rebuilt, I'm gonna be very upset. I haven't played as them in this mod yet. No, damn it. Holy shit, that's our entire army gone and it's so close. We only got three power points for that? Are you serious? We hardly got any points for that. How am I ever gonna show you the Balrog? Aren't we showing you Schmaug? Never mind. Alright, we're gonna make you again. Uh, we're making that. Let me see, what upgrades can we get here? Goblin armor, Wicked Blade. That's a cool name for it. Research fire arrows, banner carriers. Unless, unless, actually, you know what, obviously upgrades are really useful because, damn, he's revived fast. Upgrades are really useful, especially for your Hobgoblins and for your Moria Orcs and probably when you play Gundabad, because they're probably the more elite, more uh, bread for war sort of goblins rather than <laughs> these ragtag inbred ones. These, these, are the, these are the ragtag ones, that's why I love them. They're a bit of an underdog, and by that I mean they suck. Um... Yeah, you'd probably want to go for your upgrades, because there's no way you're going to contest with any other faction late game. Like, even with your numbers. I think we'll make a few goblin drummers by the end of it. Okay. So, are we ready for another push? We need to bait, we need to attack before that fortress repairs itself. And if and if Isengard is, is as industrious as they're supposed to be, they probably have, like, super orc laborers just to repair everything. Ah, oh, come on. Sound the fucking drums! You can summon mercenaries too! We will take out Isengard by the time this... Like, this charge will take him out. Although, we're being slowed down. I feel like this is Operation Barbarossa, and we're trying to get to Moscow, but we're being held up by nothing but fucking Russian human shields. Just get out of our way and let us defeat you! Oh my god. What is the health on this? Oh, it's still low! It's still low! How many ogres do we have? We have three! They cost 285, which is actually a lot for goblins. And they're made pretty quickly, holy god! You should always make more than one so you can do this sort of thing. Go, go, go! We have four ogres, we've sounded the drums, it gives us a nice damage boost. Who cares about armor when you look like this? Go, smack! Go on, do these things get an upgrade? What do they get? Ogre drains health from each strike? Are you serious? Is that a fucking cloud break? Oh my god, elves. Why are you saving Isengard? What could you possibly need? Oh, the elves are going to push on the left flank. Fucking battering ram as well. God damn it. Uh, we just sit. Ah, that. Mm. We're making fatty. We're making fatty. Go. We're making him right now. Okay, we're back. We will renew our, inf our our offensive. We will renew our offensive against the mighty Isengard tonight. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, actually, if you look here, we've got some beautiful scaffolding. Goblin Town is coming to life. I Gundabad are really cool. Don't get me wrong; they're really cool. But there's something about there's something about this makeshift excavate. There's something about these makeshift bases that Goblin Town has. I just love it. I don't know why. It's, 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 it's romantic. It's not really. Anyway, we've got loads of money, so... Goblin King. Oh, sorry, Great Goblin. Drogoth. We're gonna make the Ogre Chieftain and Durbuz, who I don't really know what that guy is. But, I'm making them because, uh, two of them actually have some really good support powers, which I'll get into later. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, uh, and this is actually pretty important, so you should pay attention. You should pay attention to me now. Pay attention, pay attention, boys. Pay attention now. Um, you'll notice that every faction in this game... Has half the heroes are cheap and then half the heroes are super expensive. But you'll notice that they're powerful not because the battalions are smaller so they're easier to kill, but because they actually level up pretty damn quickly. And most of them, if not all, have pretty damn good support powers in which they boost the attack damage of units around them. 
So if we look at the Ogre Chieftain, he's clearly going to buff the Ogres that we can get. And if I'm being honest, the Ogres are actually probably the best unit that these guys get. Cave Trolls are pretty damn good. The Siege Trolls are buggy as fuck, although they're awesome. So once they're fixed, they'll, like, once, once they're a little more, more reliable, they'll be good. But the Ogres, given that they're the cheapest thing you can make from that, uh, from this barracks, and given that how quickly you can make them, given that you can have eight of them, given they're really good siege damage as well, they're actually really good. So, the Ogre Chieftain is actually a must, because he, uh, level 3 gives Ogres passive armor. Ogres have a lifesteal ability by default, and I think, um, a level 10, th this move actually doesn't work though, and I've got the latest patch, so that needs to be fixed too. Breaking Siege, whereby Siege Trolls will gain 50% damage. Um, actually, it didn't work, but then again, I didn't use it near a Siege Troll. So let me make a Siege Troll and actually see, so I might have to eat my, eat my own words for a second. We have Durbuz, who buffs all the Moray Goblins, who if you remember, we get from the Goblin Caves here. Not to be confused with these ones here. Um, he has like, he has a heal around him, uh, which he has to activate, which allows you to essentially replenish one battalion per Orc Horde, which is good. Moria Goblins gain 75% damage. Now, they don't have much damage to begin with, but that's still pretty damn good. 75% damage at, um... Oops, sorry. At level 3? That's that's pretty significant. Um, we've got the Great mm -hmm. Goblin, mm -hmm. and at level 10, he can do his song, which inflicts fear in nearby units in a large area, and then make... It, 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 it makes them unable to attack. It's basically like a cloud break, but in the form of a song, so it's beautiful. However, I don't think we're going to see that, because we want to coronate him. We want to put him on the throne. Um, we're still waiting for Drogoth to be made. I wonder if researching this will cancel it. No, we're good, we're good. Okay. God, he's so good. He's... Great Goblin. He... Look at that face. How could you not love that face? How could you not... He's so good. And the uh, voice actor form is great. Um, he gains health when he kills an enemy, that's pretty good. He gains damage and fear resist- oh, goblins near him gain damage and fear resistance, but that's, uh, that's an activate, that's not passive. Uh, he can summon his armored guards? I- I'm, I kinda like that. Um, one thing I will have to note is that when you send your goblins to- to be upgraded, uh, I'll go for the poison blades, because poison damage is actually really useful. When you upgrade them with, like, the Moria axes, which is essentially forged blades, you don't really see a difference. So if you're attacking them, if you're attacking the goblins, you can't really, like, you don't really know if they're upgraded or not. It seems, it seems sort of strange. I'll have to, actually, let's have a better look. We'll put, this is a hobgoblin. We've got two hobgoblins here, Moria axes. We'll put them here, and we'll see if we'll see if we can see another difference. Bloody hell, siege trolls! Are you gonna hurry up? Or have we hit our command point limit? We've hit our command point limit. God damn it! All right, we got to replenish the ranks. Drogoth's not making either. Oh well. Okay. Oh no! Don't worry, Isengard. Your time will come soon. Okay, so this is default. They got those swords in their hands, and the upgrades already kicked in. Their blades, they, they, the actual blade changes shape, it's more like a halberd now, but it doesn't glow. So if you're like this, the halberd looks exactly the same as the blade, which is, it's just a little difficult to see. That's all I'm saying, so that's why the glowy effect should come in, because then you can make a better uh, decision about whether to charge or not. Who is that? Some Urk scout? Run him over, Scorpion Man! Goal kill's new name is Scorpion Man. All right. So last time we assaulted Isengard, our base, oh, all, our entire army froze thanks to the elves' cloud break. Urk Scout, uh, are you invincible, Urk Scout? Because that could be a problem if you are. Oh shit. Okay. We should probably send the horde ahead of these cave trolls because we don't want them to get cut down by fucking archers here. Submit to the king. So in the Gundabad video, uh, so I'm just checking things. Okay. You'll see that our command points are at 772. We've already taken hits somehow, but you'll notice that they will fucking crumble as we get closer to this base, and that's just, that's, that's just a price I'm willing to pay. Durbus. Sorry, the, the, I love these orc names. They're really cool. So passively, the Great Goblin gives you 200% experience, double armor and damage, so by default he gets a fucking great thing. Are you for cereal? Holy god, send in the, not the archers, send in the hobgoblins, ladder. 
Send a man and kick some ass. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Drogoth is here! Drogoth is here! It seems that the ogre hero wants it to just kill everything. Is this, is this the same ogre hero that Bard pulls off that really bullshit maneuver and sort of, like, flies off a chariot and stabs him in the chest? Because I'm okay if that's the case. I feel like these trolls get confused easily. If there's people blocking their way, they get confused. Durboos? No, he's gonna die. Damn it, archers, run! Okay. So Drogoth is on his way. 10,000 health by default. You'll notice he has two extra abilities. They're both buffs to his armor and uh, armor and health, which is really useful because, as you know, people people pay a pretty penny for this. People pay a pretty... Who is that? Oh, it's just some weird peasant. Anyway, people pay a pretty penny for Drogoth, and we don't want him to be undone just by one battalion of archers. Let's have a look. So once we send in these cave trolls, nothing can stop them. I still... Drogoth's on half health already. Holy shit, I was right. Run out. Run away, Drogoth. Bring it down. Bring it down. There we go. Send in enough cave trolls and you can accomplish anything. We need to make sure Drogoth doesn't die because that's a really bad... You know what? Fuck it. We'll send him back in because I don't really care if he does. Great goblin. What are you going to do now, wizard? Well, I, st I still... Holy shite nuggets. I'm pretty sure the ogres are still better. I really like the ogres. I just, I, I have more faith in them. But Cave Trolls really did the did the business there. Look how, it's amazing that he's actually made these textures himself. Because look how beautiful the Great Goblin is. The hell is that? <gasps> it's Ring Hero Galadriel. What the balls? What is she doing here? What? Kill her. Bring down the She-Elf. She will be killed by goblins. This is the greatest day. Since they claimed more- Oh shit, that's gonna kill someone. Ugh. Don't- She took out every single one of my cave trolls. Now that is a boss move. That is a great final play. Holy god, that was cool. Speaking of cool, these are the siege trolls, which I've shown off before. But look at that walking animation. I don't know if he's used- I don't know what program he's used to design the animation. I mean, I, I think I know the program he's probably used, but I just, for, like, I'm on the tip of my tongue. But look at the walking animation for these siege trolls. Tell me that's not a carbon copy from the film. Look at that. If only when you put them in siege mode, they're a little more reliable in the sense that they would actually let you point and click where you wanted to attack them. Anyway, we're going back. We have the throne now, which we will, uh... Which we will now put Thingamabob on, the Great Goblin. Um, we have the Poison Blade, so that's really useful. Although, for me, I don't think I'd use them. I don't even think I'd bother to micro. Maybe if I was in an online game, I'd bother to micro. But really, I just like to crash and burn. The problem with these Siege Trolls is that, as I said, they are unreliable. But they still do count as Siege in the sense that they are pretty damn weak. Um, which is why for Gundabad as well, I preferred the uh, Armored Trolls over the Mountain Giants. Just because they have a lot more resilience. Um, than the regular unit. I can't believe Galadriel was there. That was fucking crazy. So we have 32 points. We're playing as, um, oh, we should probably make the Watcher. The Watcher actually hasn't changed from, uh, from what you know him as. So we're actually going to go for Mists of the Mountain, which means we need, oh man, we need 16 more points because to get the Battle of it's 34. 34. Alright, Mist of the Mountain. I'm a little afraid to use it. Alright, let's coronate you. If they make Galadriel again, we're in trouble. Send word to the Pale Orc. You think his defiling days are over, do you? Come on, get in, sit on your fucking chair. Don't. Damn it, Great Goblin. Do not. Do not disobey me now. Has this guy got his... He should have his armor boost, so these things should actually light up when they get near him. Yeah, they do. Okay, they're lighting up. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, no. Do, 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 do. Sorry, that whole scene when Azog was talking about how the... Uh, Mountain will be there too many names all the races. It's so cool. Just the way he sounds. 
Okay, a thousand command points. We lost some heroes, didn't we? We lost Durbuz. Look like these half trolls are ready. Okay, so the only people left are the uh, men of Gondor. For some reason, Great Goblin is letting me down. There he goes! He's back on there! Look how good that is. This is Goblin Town in every sense of the word. He's really done a great job with that. I mean, look, there's all the scaffolding, and then there he is on his throne. So when he's on here, you can tell him to evacuate, of course. Um, when he's on there, you get scavenging, where every unit will generate resources for you, which is excellent. Look! Ah! We can now make Azog! I was right! We can now make Azog! Yes! Once you coronate him, he sends for the Pale Orc, and the Pale Orc will come. Okay. Alright, now, let us charge. Men of Gondor, are you resistant to dragon fire? Because if not, well, you're in a little, little bit of hurt. We're going to make some cave trolls because we're funny like that. That should max our command points. Let our towers take care of him. Let us charge! We've got Gorka level 9 on the cusp of greatness. You guys know what, uh, you know what happens at level 10. It rhymes with call from the deep. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? We've got that ogre thing, we should just keep him with the other ogres. We have Durbuz that will buff all our Moray goblins. You know what? I know the hobgoblins count as heavy infantry, and the the Moray goblins are better than the, than the better than the default ones, but you know what? Just make them all and send them at the enemy, that's what we want. And speaking of what we want, it rhymes with fire! It rhymes with death! Oh man, the men of Gondor have made a lot of guys. Holy shit. Attack! Oh god, we've made a little bit of a fire. We should probably go down there. Drogoth! Drogoth! Don't let me down now. So Drogoth at level uh, 5 gets bonus armor and resistance to flame attacks. And at level 10 he gets 900 health, 20% speed, and a 10% de- uh, cooldown benefit on his powers. I thought this said Azog is falling, and I'm like, no, Paylock doesn't die for anybody. Did you not watch those Hobbit films? He, he was just unbelievably good at fighting. Okay, let's actually attack the barracks now. Azog's on the way. We shouldn't be sending these ogres in first, but you know what, we're doing it. This whole video has been me. We shouldn't do this, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> we will have enough points. All right, you know what? Siege mode. Let's see if you'll actually hit what we want you to hit. The rock is throwing! He hit a tower! I don't get why you can't actually manually aim these things. If we click on them, see? There's always a... You can't do anything symbol. Ogre Chieftain's fallen. I'm supposed to cry. Um, Maybe we should activate the... So basically, Golden Town get this... Well, don't just stand there. Search them! So, Gundabad gets double damage from the horns of Gundabad, and we get a scavenger ability for everything. So, I think Gundabad actually have the better, the better buff. Is Azog here yet? Drogoth, where did you go, or did we retreat you? I don't know if we'll have enough strength to... F actually, we've got three ogres still there, we've got two cave trolls. The thing with deploying the siege trolls is that you actually have to have them like, properly facing what you want them to target. Oh shit. No, Dragon Lord, you're too beautiful! You're so beautiful ever since I killed you in the third level of Biff Me Too. Durbuz is full. We're losing a lot of heroes. This is just me being reckless. You shouldn't actually do this. Go, go! I love that walking animation on those siege trolls. The, the authenticity of it is just so good. You have no idea how much I love that. And the fortress falls! The siege trolls, if they're not in their siege mode, actually don't do that much damage. If you think they will, then you're wrong. The ogres and cave trolls are much more beneficial. No, we haven't seen Balrog! Fall back to the citadel, which is just a bunch of scaffolding. Alright, Balrog has 34 points. He's more than Smaug. And the reason that I've come up with... Is because he lasts a hell of a lot longer than Smaug. Smaug was like Army of the Dead territory. He was like 30 seconds. Balrog, while he doesn't gain any new abilities, because he lasts longer, he can use his Incinerate just to destroy entire armies. 
uh, he can use that more than once. What's his health though? 12,000, so three times as much as he had in Vinland or Bifme. If we use Ignite, he gets a little flame shield around him, which is a pretty nice touch. And there you go, 34 points. He lasts a lot longer. He can destroy armies with breathe fire. Smaug has definitely got the battle beaten for cool factor. He does, and you, you can't you can't dispute that. Not destroying not destroying his final building yet. Oh, he's made something. There. Hold on, is the battle got the ring? Oh, it's his greatest day ever. I wonder what would happen if you gave Melkor the ring. That'd be kind of funny. Miss of the mountain crashing this game. And he missed. The mists, cloud, all, and it's amazing. So we can make the Pale Orc. We've got Goblin King just sitting there getting resources, which is great. Um, I swear we could have got Bulk as well. That was sort of weird. Favorite unit from these guys? It's actually the Siege Trolls, purely for that walking animation, and that's not even a freaking joke. Um, but they're not actually that reliable, as I've said. Drug off. Oh, man. And a uh, special shout out to those cave trolls for stabbing Frodo. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Whoa! I swear he's lasted longer before. What is going on? Anyway, Balrog's gone. But uh, you guys have seen it before. He didn't actually need any new abilities, did he? He was already a one man wrecking crew. They buffed his health, so he can actually last a bit longer. Because uh, in vanilla, with his 4,000 health, he can be killed by about two Merkwood archers. Ah, there's something about the might of the goblins that just makes them so damn pretty. I just... Maybe because the cave trolls are so much bigger than the regular units, it actually adds a lot of perspective to just how cool their army is. I don't know why. We've got ogres, we've got siege trolls. Mm, they're so good. And that sound should be played back on loop the entire time. That... Mm, what, what, what other faction makes you do that? I mean, you could have goat riders and Khazadai Manu, but... There's something about those goblins, man. I can't describe it. They're so beautiful. Um, this is what the main menu of bots looks like, in case you didn't know. Anyway, that was uh, that was the Misty Mountains Goblins. Up next, um, I actually might show you Gondor. Um, well, actually, maybe I'll show you Isengard. Hmm. To actually, you know what? I'm going to show you Isengard next time. So look forward to that. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It helps me a lot. Just always love that like button. That's what I say. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching. I'm Redevil. Goodbye.